Okay. Yep, just got done dumping. And it's, it says it's 51 out, but it feels like it's 31 and sanitizing my hands. And it's cold, very cold. And, uh, but we're used to it. Danny and I are used to the cold weather now. Uh, we've been back here long enough. So, I did get my old glasses that I left at my nephew's house. Remember I told you I left my glasses at my nephew's house, but I needed new glasses anyway, and I had to take them back twice when I was in Florida. Um, but I got my old, old ones back. And I do have the brand new ones, which I do wear. They're really pretty. <laughs> Um, when I'm not wearing my contacts and I haven't been wearing my contacts here in Illinois mostly because um, The weather's been really cold and I have very sensitive eyes and I need glass in front of my eyes to um, So that the cold doesn't hurt the cold hurts my skin. It hurts my eyes because of my thyroid disease, so um, Even though the contacts are on my eyeballs you know, I, on my, the iris portion, the colored part, the, the cold bothers my whole, my whole entire eye. And I have a cyst in my eye, which is, I've had for a couple years now. Uh, one minute they say they want to take it out. Another minute they say, oh, it's only going to grow back. So I just leave it to up to God. Yeah. I just put it in God's hands. If he wants me to get rid of that thing, but it's getting better getting better. I don't know if you could see it. Aren't you so happy I shared that with you? <laughs> yeah. It is getting better. It's smaller. So, uh, so I, when I was, I was staining, let's see if I can see it. I wonder if this, I was staining the, um, the wood from at the, that my bed is attached to and I got the black stain on my hair. I must have had it on my hand and did this or moved it out of my way and I had gotten it on my hair. But I just washed my hair. Oh, there's still a little bit left right there. Look. Anyway, it just blends right in with my pepper part of my salt and pepper, right? My salt and pepper and my what's left of whatever hair color when I stopped coloring my hair. How many, what, a couple years now it's taken to grow out. There's just a little bit left on there, but Danny and I match because she has some butterscotch. I have butterscotch. She's got a little black in her ears. I got a little black underneath and she's got white hair just like me. So enough jibber jabber. We're on our way out of here. Yeah. And, um... I'm going to try to, I should reposition my camera so that you could see better out my window. Let's see how I could do that. Because I know that many of you have said that you enjoy watching the road or whatever I'm passing. Oh, Danny went back in her cubby. You can't see her back there like you could in the other car. And I have mellow yellow in the back for the first time. There is she, there's mellow yellow back there. If you can see my bike is tied down. That's 68 more pounds I got out of my rig. Yay! And into the van. And it worked really well the way it's tied down. I have it tied behind the passenger seat. There's a little tie down thing. And then it's got a tie down in the corner. Um, on this side right by Danny's cubby and I just try it. I don't want it falling in the handlebars going into the wall and denting or making a hole into the um the the material that's on the wall that finished my walls off anyway blah 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 <laughs> time to go hit the road and today and not tomorrow Danny back 
there. I know she's back there. Okay, I really like pineapples, and I saw these young guys doing this on Facebook, so I had to try it, see what it tastes like. Everybody, I don't know, that likes pineapples might like hot cooked pineapples, and they have like a natural sugar in it, so they caramelize on their own. So I used my little Dash um, waffle, single waffle maker that I use for my chuffles, and I'm cooking up the little pineapple rings that I had in the can. I'm going to check this out and try it out. But I'm not going to make you wait while it cooks the whole time. I'll just show you when it's finished cooking what it looks like. Okay, ready? Ready for this? Here it comes. Okay, there it is. And then I sprinkled it with um, some cinnamon. And it smells so good. And let me tell you something. Oh my gosh. Yum. Let me taste it and see. It's cold out. Let's see. Mmm. Yum. If you like cooked pineapple, I do. With cinnamon on it. It's yummy. Probably do the same thing in a in a frying pan. Mmm. <laughs> nice and sweet. Very good. Mm, 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 mm. Yum, yum, yum. So you see what she does? When she wants to go to bed, she gets up on the bed. And then she usually barks at me. <laughs> She's got that glowing eye right now. But she'll bark at me until I come up there. And I'm not ready to go to bed yet. But she wants to go to bed now. So she went up there and got in bed. And stares at me for me to come to bed. <laughs> She's just so sweet, isn't she? Hey, YouTubers, Rebel Watchers. Yeah, we we took a couple of days uh, and stayed at Pine Country, a thousand trails park. I was here last year. I stayed here for like a week or so, um, maybe maybe two weeks. I don't remember. It's a nice little park. Right now, there's hardly anything open. I mean, the bathrooms, the showers are open, but the pool's not open yet. You know, it's not warm enough. But it's a nice little park, a lot of seasonal people who come here and leave their campers up here all year long. But um, we're on our way out. Yeah, because we pretty much were shut in most of the day because of the cold weather. But wouldn't you know it, the sun came out today and the sun will come up tomorrow. Anyway. I got a call that my title is in at the currency exchange. So it's about an hour drive, hour and a half drive for me to get back over there. And um, I didn't want to just go there and come back. And why waste the gas? I'll just go there and get my stuff and then head out to my next destination. So I hope you come along with. I'm on my way to go do the title paperwork and transfer my license plates. Yeah, thank you, Jesus. He answered my prayers. So we're all hooked up and we're ready to pull out. And actually, Danny, I think, went right into her cubby. Yeah, I'm going to take a look back there, make sure she's in there. Good girl. Good job. Yep, she's in their cubby back there. I think she's liking it. She does like to sit. She does like sitting up here next to me also. So somewhere along the road, she may decide to come over and come up here. I don't know, but um, we'll see. We're heading out to go get our paperwork done. I always have to remember to put the vehicle in tow haul and also to turn off, okay, automatically in tow haul, it turns it off. That's good to know. So, uh, the, as I mentioned before, I may have not mentioned that this van has a feature where when you stop at the stop sign, 
that um, or stop light for any length of time, the engine automatically shuts off. Well, I don't like that. So I have to turn it off all the time. Even when I, if I get out and get back in the car, I got to turn it back on, you know, remember to turn it off and do all that again, reset the um, controls. But with the tow haul on and the plug, the hitch plugged in and my brake controller, the Echo brake controller plugged in, it automatically, uh oh, now it went off. Oh, when I, oh, I see what it is. When I hit the brake, I could see that it is turned off. Yay. Because when you're stopped, you hit the brake, right? So we are on our way. I met really nice people in the, um, in the class C that pulled in next to me. And he is a uh, pastor at a church. Him and his wife are pastors. Well, he's the pastor of a church, so we had a really nice conversation. And a couple of people are starting to pull into this campground. I'm leaving early. I'm supposed to leave tomorrow. I could actually stay 14 days at this campground, and um, I might have considered that, but I'm not gonna. It's a you know, gas is so expensive. So if I go back to the area where I'm going to get my license plates transferred and then come back all the way here. That's like a two hour round trip <laughs> and that's a lot of gas. So, so buttons on your underwear, a lot of bumps in this road coming in and this new rig really feels all the bumps. My cabinet opened up on my way here. And one of my china cups and saucers broke. My large, my bigger size um, French press for my coffee, that broke because it fell out of the cabinet. I'm like, whoa. So now I put like bars across the cabinet, like the ones that you buy to put in your refrigerator. And um, hopefully if that cabinet opens again, I won't lose any more items. I lost my grandma cup that my kid, my grandkids bought me that broke, you know, so, oops, I'll let you see where I'm pulling out of. Then of course that's a propane station. Now I'm pulling out of the back section here where I was staying. I didn't really get a lot of good pictures of that, but I will reference my video from last year I'll put that up on top here so if you want to go back and watch that but um in fact I went to the pool here last year but this front section is also all gravel those people are waiting for me to cross over the bridge because they're going to cross over. Thank you. I'm going slow because of all the bumps. There are nice creeks and there is, fishing is allowed. So um, the thing is, is the fishing is catch and release. It's all catch and release. Yeah. So the front has two big gravel sections, but I will reference it. that video from last year okay it says approach slowly this card dump oh I didn't bring my card did I bring my card no I forgot my card I'll just give him my piece of paper
That's it. That's it. It's done. I can put my license plates back in my van and it's a done deal. And the nice thing about it was they told me at the car dealership it was going to be a 10% tax, but it's not a 10% tax. It was a 7% tax that I had to pay. And so it was less money than I thought. I thought it was gonna be over $2,000 and it wasn't. It was much less um, in taxes. So, oh, what a relief. And I got my plus up stimulus because um, the same day that my social security check, because I'm a senior citizen, obviously. So I got my plus up check deposited the same day that my social security check got deposited because after I did my 21, 21 taxes, they found out that I was entitled to the whole thing. Of course I'm entitled to the whole thing. You know, I don't work, <laughs> you know? But anyway, because before they only gave me part of the check. And also when I did my taxes, I got the uh, rebate because they never gave me the full amount of the stimulus. So I'm all caught up on getting all my stimulus money awarded to me and phew, yeah, what a relief. Okay, I'm good to go to head out of town. But it's uh, six o'clock at night. And I think I'm just going to camp out at Walmart <laughs> again. I'm going to go back over to the Walmart by my son's house and camp out over there. Yeah. Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down.